on I've been quiet for so long What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to talk about the five things I hate about my 550. I'm just going to go straight into it. It's going to be a quick one. Number one, the lack of power. Once you get used to the power, there's not really a lot you can do without spending a lot of money to increase that power. Now, the car and the engine are very capable. But the problem is there's not much to do in terms of tuning once you do the air filter, the exhaust and the remap. You, you probably gain about 30 to 40 brake max. So you're maxing out at about 400 brake in this car. Now, once you get used to the power, you'll want more power. And the only way to do that is to go for a supercharger. Now, supercharger kits for a V8, if it was an M3, for example, easy to get hold of. If it was a V10, easy to get hold of. The biggest problem with the 550 is because it's so rare, not many people do kits for them. And if they do do kits for them, they're extortionate. You're looking at a minimum of seven grand. Now, that is a big expense considering there's not much in terms of price of going from an E60 550 to an E60 M5. But the problem with that is you get the E60 V10 problems. Now, which is the biggest reason why I didn't buy a V10 M5. So, the lack of power. That's number one. Number two is the fuel consumption. Now, V8s are thirsty. Yeah, you shouldn't have bought a V8 if you're worried about fuel. I'm, I'm not. But for the average person, you know, it's, it's not great. You can get 14 to 17 around town. You drive like a granny you probably get it up to 19 mpg on a run it's pretty good i mean you get about three maybe three 350 out of a run just cruising down the motorway um yeah it's, it's not great on fuel the most i've ever had out of it is 27 mpg and that was on a 40 mile run um on the motorway and, and 27 is pretty much the most I can get out of it, sitting at 60. So yeah, that's number two. Number three, the cost of road tax. Now, in Britain, obviously, if you've got a big engine car, you expect to pay a crazy amount of road tax. This car is £550, roughly, for road tax. That's £45.50 a month, roughly. But obviously, you got to pay what you got to pay to put it on the road. That's just one of the byproducts of having a, a big engine car. Fourth. Now, the fourth one is something which is pretty easy to change, but the fourth one is the lack of LSD. This car should have come with an LSD. It would have just made it handle so much better. Now, I would looked into the fact that it hasn't got an LSD and how easy it would go in terms of changing it. So there's two options you can do. Option one, you go for a Quave diff. That's about 12, 1300 pound. Not a crazy amount. In the end, I didn't go for one because I changed the car. The other option is getting the M5 rear end. Now this includes needing a diff, drive shafts, prop shafts, just, just the lot. And to be honest, it's a lot of work. You may save yourself a couple of hundred quid if that, if you're not doing it yourself, um, the labour cost, yeah, you, you'll save a couple of hundred quid. If you are doing it yourself, you'll probably save about three, four hundred pounds by doing it yourself. But it is a crazy amount of work for getting an LSD. You're better off just buying a Quaife. It's pretty much as simple as that. For the convenience and for the ease of doing it, it's what bolt in, bolt out, you know, you can you can swap it back out if you sell a car and you can sell the diff on separately there's, there's it's just a lot more easier to do and a lot more easier to put back standard now the fifth and final thing that i hate about this car unfortunately is the gearbox now triptronic gearboxes obviously for the technology yeah they're pretty good but having moved on from this car in terms of getting the F10 M5, I find the gearbox to be really slow in, in comparison. 
Um, it's just it it needs a quicker gearbox. That is that is basically the crux of it. If it had a better gearbox, it'd be so much nicer to drive. Now, I'm not saying this is bad to drive, but as you saw in the 0 to 60, it does slow it down. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't had the gearbox mapped. I just thought there's, there's no point and the car gets driven really easily now. It's, it's not, not gonna have a hard life. In addition to the gearbox is the lack of paddles. Why would they not put paddles on this car? Again, according to the forums, it is an easy fix. All you need is a steering wheel with paddles from a later model. Now, if your car's a 2006, the later model steering wheels will just fit. If it's not a 2006, if it's a 2005 55 plate, you're going to need an adapter for the coupling. It will not fit. Luckily, mine was a 2006. Now, I bought a steering wheel over a year ago, but the problem is trying to find someone to fit it. It requires wiring. Now, I'm, I'm not the best at wiring, so I'm not, not even going to attempt it. But trying to get someone to fit the steering wheel is is very hard, and especially like the specialist. Munich Legends wouldn't do it. BMS said they could do it, but it takes three four hours, so obviously that just wasn't feasible. Um, I've had various people say they can do it on the forum, but nothing's ever panned out, so I sort of just left it. I still have the steering wheel. If I do come across somebody that fits it, I'll definitely save their contact details. I'll do a video on it because it's something a lot of people want. Now, it's not just the 550 you can do this for. You can do it for any Triptronic Auto um, throughout the 5 Series range. So it's a nice little feature. The steering wheel costs range from... I don't know, 150 to 350, I've seen some 450. If you have an M Sport steering wheel, it's again, it's easier because you can reuse the airbag. If you have an SE steering wheel, you've got the additional cost of buying an airbag. So in total, you're looking at between three to 400 pounds. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the biggest things that is missing on this car. When I took it on track, it was an absolute dream like I was I was so proud of how this big exec car handled but it just needed the paddles again going from the F10 M5 which is obviously newer technology it's fast it's just better in every way in that sense you really notice the need for paddles in this car so yeah that that's the fifth and final thing um, hope you enjoyed the video thanks